Hey, what's Gucci with y'all? It's your boy, Young Mike. Say, do y'all want to come in my clubhouse? Well, all right. Oops, I almost forgot. Y'all got to say the magic words first. Ugly ass. Hey, but look, um, as y'all can see in the title today, uh... We talking about what happened last night, or last night, yesterday in court. I was supposed to make a video, but I kind of got busy, you know, like, I was just really busy on my grind. Hold on, I'm about to wipe the lens, guys. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't know, for some reason, this hole is fogging up on me. I think it's because I took a shower and it was in the same room. And it got fog inside the lens or something. Like, moisture. Moisture. I don't know how to say it, but y'all know what I mean. Alright, so we about to get started because, I mean, that's just how we do it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm going to explain to y'all what happened. So, if y'all don't know, a lot of people been like, oh, bruh, you fucking, you go to court every fucking week. Hell no, nah, I don't. And hell no, nah, I didn't. I went to court, what was it, September something or whatever. No, not September. I don't even remember, to be honest. But I went to jail on my birthday, which is July 27th, and it was 2018, right? I got caught. Let, let me explain to y'all how I got caught, since it's all out the way now. So I was driving, right? And I'm going home. I'm about to turn up for my birthday. I got a half ounce. It was in my backpack in my passenger side. And then I had my pistol, of course, in my pocket. So then um, I was thinking, like, bro, I should go to my homie's house and then go home. Which I should have did that because I wouldn't have got arrested, right? But what ended up happening was something in my mind told me, just go home. Just enjoy yourself. So that's what I went to go do, right? So I'm going home, I'm driving home, and my third brake light is out. I just bought I bought a new one already, you know what I'm saying, of course. But my third brake light was out, which you can't find that at AutoZone. You can't find that at a parts and pick and part pool or whatever. A pick and pull because if you, I called a pick and pull and guess how much they're trying to charge me for that third brake light? Over one hundred and fifty dollars. And I looked online, guess how much it was? Twelve bucks. Like they really, 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 really scamming people because it's even used. And I got a brand new one. Long story short, I fucking get pulled over for my third brake light, and then. He, it's two cops. It's the state troopers. One cop comes this way and one cop comes this way. I roll down my window. I'm like, yes, officer. And um, he's like, license registration. So, boom, I look for my license registration realize I don't have neither one of them. They're at the house, right? So, I roll down my window and I'm, well, I'm talking to him or whatever. And then I'm like, I don't have my license registration. But I do have a firearm in my pocket. And that's the first thing you want to say when you're dealing with a situation like this. Because there's people that get killed by cops. There's people that get killed and it looks like self-defense towards the cops in, in their defense. Which, it wouldn't be like that. So, I, I wanted to make sure that I was safe and I wanted to make sure that the cops didn't feel like disrespected by not letting them know I have a firearm in my pocket. It's very dangerous, you know. Um, so, I, that's the first thing I, I really said was, sir, I have a firearm in my pocket. What the fuck you looking at, nigga? So I told him I have a fire on my pocket, right? And I'm just like, I'm just like, what's going through my head is, damn, this bitch probably dirty. This bitch probably got bodies on it. This bitch, I didn't know. Like, I bought it from my homie, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if it was stolen or none of that shit. Thank God that shit was not stolen. So your boy, you know, got leverage on it. Your boy, it was only a misdemeanor charge, a class A misdemeanor. Now, I knew a lot of people weren't going to believe me. <sighs> this is not something I would do for clout. It's not even like I got a lot of clout off this, you know. It's not something that I would do for clout. I'm so freaking happy that I'm free. I'm always worried about oh, when, when this was happening. I was worried about bail bonds and reporting to them. I was worried about court and what's going to happen. It's just a big weight on your shoulders that you're ready to get taken off and as soon as I left that courtroom I left the weights there you know it, it's really it's a great feeling to know that you're just back on your grind back making your money you don't gotta worry about nothing else no more like you just gotta do what you gotta do 
And that's freaking awesome, you know what I'm saying? But, long story short, so I go to jail, right? And I was supposed to get bailed out at Magistry. Um, from, what is it called? It's like, it's like a bails bond company. But they only make you pay, so like, 5% of your bails bond. It's a PR bond. It's called a PR bond. PR bond. Personal something bond. I don't fucking know. PR bond. My PR bond got denied by the judge himself or herself, whoever the fuck my judge was, the girl in the magistrate. So I go to, I go to, I go, they're already taking me out for the PR bond. They said that I made PR bond. Now I'm taking my pictures and my fingerprints. You know, that's what you got to do for the PR bond people. Now, when I'm doing that, I, after I'm done, I'm already thinking I'm going home, you know, the same day, you know, a couple hours, I'm going home. Fuck no. She gets a call, the sheriff or whatever, and she's talking to somebody, and they're like, oh, Michael something. I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah, these niggas got me fucked up. She talking about, sorry, the judge denied your PR bond, like, the last minute. We don't know why yet, and I'm about to leave on my next shift. She said I could use her phone to call a Bells Bond Company. So I called a Bells Bond Company and we're talking and we're about to get me bailed out or whatever. And guess what? She's like, oh, I can't go right now because it's swing shift. I mean, it's they're switching shifts. And I got my kid with me and I can't wait that long. So she was basically saying it's going to take a couple hours before I could even get bailed out. I'm like, damn. And I'm like, there's nothing you could do. They're trying to send me to the jail. And this is the worst jail in the country, by the way. She's like, no, there's nothing we could do. I'm sorry. Just call us when you're in the jail. I'm like, okay, bet. I'm thinking everything's cool. I'm thinking like, oh, I could just call her when I get to the jail and bail myself out ASAP. I get to the jail. There's no phones. And we're stuck in the cell for the whole night. Finally, the morning comes and there's still we're still stuck in the same cell. There's a TV playing the same fucking shit over and over and over. But this is the most terrible part about it all. They had surround sound speakers with it in a tiny ass room with the same message over and over and over. First it was Spanish, then it's English. Spanish, then English. I swear I learned every single word from that video. Damn, that shit was wild, bro. It was torture. It was torture. We didn't get no food. I did not eat, sleep, shit. I, I kind of slept a little bit on the floor at least. We did not shit, eat. None of that shit. And you're like, how come you didn't shit? I would at least shit. Boy, this shit was flooded already. There's shit on the floor and the smell is nasty as fuck. People were peeing on the floor. We told the people, we told the officers and they didn't give a fuck. They said, okay, one second. That's their famous line. One second and it never happens. Motherfucking one day goes by. I'm like, what happened to one second? It's been 124 hours, nigga. Talking about some one second, sir. Be patient. When, nigga, what the fuck? I'm supposed to band bailed out. I got money in my fucking books right now. I I got money. Let's get me bailed out. Like, what the fuck? I'm telling every officer my sad story. I got YouTube. I got my job. I got to get to and all that. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody. So when the happening was, I finally get this chance to talk to some lady. She gives me this number, my SID number and my phone, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Boom, I finally go into this room with a phone. And they're like, you could you could call whoever you want or the Bells Bond Company, supposedly. I'm like, all right, let me call the Bells Bond Company because I didn't know no numbers. I didn't know my grandma's number. I didn't know my girl's number. I didn't know no one's fucking number at all. So oh, no one could bail me out but me. So I'm on the phone and I'm just calling people, calling people. All Every single Bells Bonds Company did not answer. Everybody in the cell was telling me that the Bells Company, they don't answer from the county jail. Because they feel like you're just fucking with them, just trying to get them out. That's why they don't answer. I'm like, what the fuck? That bitch didn't even tell me that in the Bells Bar Company when I was in a magistrate. Damn, what the fuck? So, boom, I'm stuck in here, bro, knowing no one's number, nothing. Finally, I get to talk to a PR bond and reapply for a PR bond. And this guy is so cool. He had dreads, you know what I'm saying? He, he was cool as fuck. And he fucking got my grandma's number from the system, which they said it wasn't in the system. And he fucking called my grandma. He just he wasn't supposed to do that. He called my grandma, and my grandma actually answers, and he tells her everything that I'm here, and I, I got my bills, my money. You just need to come pick up my property. So boom, I I fucking I'm I go back to my cell, and this time I'm in the fucking actual jail cell. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the fucking 
where all the fucking killers and them rapists and shit. So fool, I go into my cell and I wait there for the night or whatever. And the next day goes by and then all that day goes by. And then finally at the end of that night, I finally get out of jail. Now, I go, I don't get out of jail just yet. I go into another room and then we wait there for like about, it was like a good 10 hours on the first. I got out around like 3 o'clock in the morning and got ripped off by a taxi. I paid $30 to get home. $30 just to get fucking home. It's a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? Just for some BS. And it was like 10 bucks of taxi worth. I didn't even know how close I was to the jail. But long story short, so I went to court for that on the set court day. I mean, after I got out on Bell's Bond. That I had to take a picture of Bell's Bond to report every fucking Wednesday. Then I go to the, the I went to court and then they, we waited there for a couple hours or whatever. I was thinking, fuck. I was thinking this is going to be it. I was thinking everything's going to be cool. We're going to do my good. I'm going to do my time, whatever. Yada, yada. Boom. Some lady comes up to me and she tells me your next court date is October 1st. We had to change your lawyer. So here's a new lawyer. Contact him. Yada, yada. So boom. I fucking, I don't even, I don't even take that lawyer. I get another lawyer. My lawyer. Because I don't. A lot of people were telling me you need your own lawyer. And for a case like this, it's not even worth paying a lawyer. But at the same time, might as well get a cheap lawyer, you know. So, boom. I get my own lawyer. And this lawyer is actually telling me that you're not going to get a month. Um, It's not that It's not that bad, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to. They, they won't give you a whole month. So, I'm like, okay, bet. So, what ended up happening was I just fucking... I took a deal. It's called a plea deal or whatever. I I think it was either nine months probation, pay a fine um, of whatever, community service, drug classes, and you know he lost me at nine months nine months probation. So I said, you know what? What's the other option? He said, plead guilty to the gun charge and the weed charge. We're gonna drop the marijuana charge, and. Um, the only charge you will have is the misdemeanor, uh, unlawful carry with the handgun, um, and that will just be on your record. But you don't get no probation, you get to go home free, everything is dropped, the weed charge will be dropped, the gun will be destroyed, and you'll be set, you're good. So he's, but he's telling me, are you sure you want this on your record? And I'm thinking in my head, like, I'm not getting a real job, I love YouTube, I love what I do, I love rapping, I don't need... Like, to be honest, a misdemeanor is not going to really affect you in the long run. Especially if I explain my situation to wherever who is concerned about it. Um, it's just because people try to try me. And that's why I had a, a firearm, you know. And it's just, sometimes it got to be that way. All the time it got to be that way after you get tried, you know. But long story short, I went to court and I got this. I don't even care what y'all see because I don't give a freak. Motion to dismiss, just in case y'all didn't believe me. But on top of this, I went live on my Instagram. Like, a lot of people who watch that, like a good 500,000 people, you know what I'm saying? Not 500,000 people, but 500 to 1,000 people. Um, watch that. They were watching me. I fucking even showed them me going inside the courtroom, them searching me, all that good stuff, the beepers. Um, this is real life. Like, I'm not about to play. I'm not about to front. That's my name, Marco Santos. Okay. Cause number 5844. Zero 08 offense POM02, which is unlawful carry with a handgun. I remember that code or whatever. Um, see, I, I they checked off the 0604. The defendant was convicted or sentence deferred in another case or count. Basically, I got convicted. I don't even know if that's convicted, but it's on my record as unlawful carry. That's the flaw about it all, but at the same time, I'm free. I don't have to worry about probation for nine whole months. I got shows. I got labels. I got people out there trying to get me to do good. So, this is awesome. This is great news for the labels. This is great news for the sponsors. This is great news for everybody. Those four days that I went in jail, they counted them as two days. Two, four, six, eight. And it was eight days minimum time served sentence for this misdemeanor charge. So the judge ap approved that eight days. <sighs> to be honest, it wasn't even eight days because I got locked up on July 27th. <sighs> then I did like half the day there all the way to the night. I mean to the morning, of course. 
Then it was July 28th, July 29th, July 30th, and then July 30th, I mean, J J August 1st or something like that. Boom. And then that's when I got out. So it was like a good three and a half days. That's why I didn't think it was going to get accepted. But that was the minimum was eight days time served sentence. And we got it approved. Like my lawyer was so fucking cool. He was so cool with the judge. Like, like, I don't even know. Like my lawyer was cool as fuck. He's like, I don't even give a fuck why you had a gun. Like he was talking like that. Like he was cool as fuck. He's like, the fact that you say that you had it in your pocket already and you told him where the marijuana was, there's nothing to fight. You already said it yourself and there's really nothing to do. All we can do is just, you know, get a good deal, you know, and that's what we did. We got a good deal. I made sure I was very respectful to the judge. Um, the people that are not, they always get arrested. I noticed that. The people that nod their heads when they're when he's asking you a question, that's not good. Always make sure you say, yes, your honor, no, your honor. Or yes, sir, no, sir. Just like simple basics of respect. Show him you're actually a human, you know? Because if you don't, he's going to treat you like an animal. Until you give him that respect and he's going to think you changed. But I'm just saying. But I'm so free, man. I'm free to do what I want. Do as I please. I don't have curfew. I don't have to report. Oh, yeah, I had to pay for my drug test, too. That shit is just a lot of... Did y'all understand what I said? Nine months probation. You got to come out clean on your drug test. You got to pay $18 and something cents for your drug test. You got to do drug classes and community service and pay a fine. Yeah, right. I'll take that. I'm guilty as hell. Yeah, right. But now I'm good, you know, like, I'm just glad... It's all out the way. I could wake up. I don't have to worry about court. I don't have to worry about the Bells Bonds company. I don't have to worry about anything. I'm actually just free. You know, like, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to be here. And it's a miracle to have a purpose. Hey, but look. I think it's time for the hot dog dance. Hot dog. Hot dog head ass. How does it go? Ugly ass. <laughs> hot dog. Hot dog. That shit is so annoying. <sighs> but yeah, man. Um, Thank y'all for all the love. We had won at 46,000. We're so close to the 150,000. Also, um... What was I going to say? What was I going to say? Bars, man. Bars. Y'all make sure y'all hit 30K to the bars. We're so close, man. Let's get it. Um, I just can't believe it. Well, if y'all add up Bars Rough to the Bars official audio, it's over 100,000 views already, which is amazing because imagine the visual. Now, this visual this visual is so fucking crazy. I'm telling y'all. I've never done this. I mean, I know I, know I only did two videos and... Well, only one, and then this second one coming up. But that one video was live as fuck. I ain't gonna front. This second video, I kind of gave leverage onto the violence a little bit. Because I thought I was going to be on probation. So I thought I was going to come out, and the video was going to come out, and my probation would have said something as far as, like, why did you do this? Why you have the 